Hey, how's it going guys? This is I here. So, this was not exactly a complete surprise, but what was surprising about two days ago, yesterday or so, when Ubisoft pulls out from Tokyo Game Show, and basically Assassin's Creed was supposed to be making its appearance once again, Assassin's Creed Shadows, but now, well, it was completely being pulled out, and so there was a lot of questions, like what is going on with that front? Like, what is there, is there perhaps a reason? Well, unfortunately, we found out today. Yes, indeed, looks like Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows is getting delayed. And also, not exactly for good reasons, too. Now, uh, this is important for me to clarify. There are actually two statements that I definitely have to read out in regarding why was the decision made to delay Assassin's Creed Shadows. And by the way, now it's actually coming, well, on the Valentine's Day, I think it was the 14th of February. <laughs> Amazing. And it's also a very big problem. I will mention all about this a little, little bit near the end of this video why it actually could be a complete failure for this game now. And I'm not saying as if like, if they would have uh, launched it in November, like originally planned, and it would have been busted and people would have been completely upset. Now, of course, this meant that, look, Ubisoft is already in the red. They're not exactly in the good metrics, and especially not with, uh, with the people, with the community, and including the share shareholders. And in this case, maybe with the decision that they decided to delay it, this will result in a better product for an Assassin's Creed Shadows and people that will be picking up the, the game, the title. And now, though, we definitely have to consider one thing. February is a very stacked uh, time, the month of 2025, mind you. Hell, even 2025 in general is getting even bigger and bigger. And it's actually kind of ludicrous because November now, it's quite a dry month. There's only one game in particular that at least kind of, well, I shouldn't say it's a big game, but I'm talking about LEGO Horizon Adventures. That's the only game in that whole month it's going to be releasing. That's insane. So many games were supposed to come out in November, and now they're all being pulled out and they're all been delayed. Unbelievable. And now the majority of the games that were delayed, they're now coming in February. And it's like February is completely stacked. <laughs> and now Assassin's Creed Shadows is also joining that month. Incredible. Not in a good way. This is, I don't know if I should read out this whole article. Basically, the Ubisoft made a statement regarding of the decision of delaying Assassin's Creed Shadows and why they, did, why they even decided to do this, nevertheless. Anyway, so this is what they mentioned. Dear players, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a dream project uh, for us. Finally bringing the series to feudal Japan with many features developed with our community in mind, such as parkour or the renewed stealth brought by new technology, all set in a beautiful and immersive world. This is an ambitious addition to the franchise, a rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists, but we realize we need more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. As such, we made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14, 2025. The game will release on broad range of platforms, including Steam, at launch. Additionally, pre-orders will be refunded and all future pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. It's actually quite nice of them to do this. We understand that this decision will come as a disappointing, disappointing news, especially to those who've been waiting patiently for an Assassin's Creed game inspired by Feudal Japan. Well, thankfully, you don't have to worry about that part since we already have another game coming out that's actually a way better game. But we sincerely believe that this is the best interest of the game and ultimately your experience as a player. Rest assured, we're looking forward to the moment you will embark on a memorable adventure with Naoe and Yosuke. Until then, we thank you for your ongoing support. <sighs> okay, well, there's another statement that I think kind of gives it a better picture of why they decided to delay it. And this is actually came from an emergency financial uh, call. It just came out of nowhere, really. And we got to see their statement regarding of the decision of the uh, delay. Listening to players' feedback as an uh, the illustration of our player-centric approach, the following important decisions related to Assassin's Creed Shadows have been taken. Assassin's Creed Shadows will now be released on uh, 14th February 2025, while the game's feature complete. The learnings from the Star Wars Outlaws released led us to provide additional time to further polish the title. This will enable the biggest entry in the franchise to fully deliver on its ambition, notably by fulfilling the promise of our dual protagonist adventure, with Naoi and Yaosuke bringing two very different gameplay styles. We're departing from the traditional season pass model, this is interesting news, 
All players will be able to enjoy the game at the same time on uh, February 14th and those who pre-order the game will be granted the first expansion for free as we already uh, summarized it. And last point, the game will mark the return of our new releases on Steam Day 1. I like the idea that they're actually departing from the traditional season pass model. And I have heard also that they're doing the same thing for their future titles as well. About damn time, honestly. And also, releasing this uh, day one on Steam, I think it will be actually be a benefit. Now, they are going to be losing about, what is it, 30% of the cut of the, all the sales that they make. But still, I think they need to have a goodwill system here. Because with so much flack and with so much negativity that Ubisoft is receiving, they just have to do something for the consumers because we're the ones that are keeping them afloat. If we don't, if we don't buy nothing and we continue on trashing other games because they're just genuinely are not good, yeah, Ubisoft is just gonna go bankrupt. Obviously, it's a lot more complicated than that. So, what I wanted to mention as well near the beginning of the video, I kind of touched on it a little bit at least. Ghost of Yote. It's also coming out in 2025. It is also based on Feudal Japan. It is also quite similar to an Assassin's Creed titles. And we already have received a first game by the name of, of course, Ghost of Tsushima. And now we're getting a sequel. And this time, it is also about a lady. Her name is Atsu. And this is gonna be, the, well, by the looks of things, it's gonna be only based on one protagonist. And so you'd be thinking, wait, who's better, Naue or Atsu? <laughs> it's just like, which is the better game? And of course, with the previous experience that we have already seen and continuous, uh, you know, development and studies that Assassin's Creed have been going through, yet somehow Ghost of Tsushima, well, in this case, will be Ghost of Yaute, uh, it's a better title, it's a better game. So this is actually kind of serious because Go Assassin's Creed Shadows may end up being in a ditch because of Ghost of Yote. And due to this, I think it's maybe a big problem of releasing this title so close to Ghost. Because if they do, if Assassin's Creed Shadows does release this time, February 14th, I don't think they'll necessarily be in a bad in a bad worse. Because Ghost of Yote is still not going to be coming out, not at least on the 1st of April. Because after the 1st of April, that's when they will be able to release uh, this their game. Because they have mentioned that, that they wanted to do a physical year of 2025, I believe that's how they say it. Basically, we'll be starting on the 1st of April and going all the way till the 31st of March of 2026. And they are, they're promised, well, that's just their word, that they want to have at least one big AAA game uh, from PlayStation every single year. And now with 2025, we already know that uh, Ghost of Yota is coming. We know that Death Stranding 2 is coming. And of course, we know that Marathon should be coming. We don't know, of course, when they're all coming and what specific dates and windows of those dates. But if Ghost of Yote comes out, say, in April, <sighs> Assassin's Creed, unfortunately, is going to get forgotten. Because the reason why Assassin's Creed as a main title, recently anyway, is so beloved, because of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Yes, I know a lot of people will argue with me and say Assassin's Creed Valhalla is shit, whatnot, but it made a lot of money. And it was actually keeping Ubisoft, just, that's not true, but it did keep Ubisoft afloat to some degree anyway for the past three to four years. Because if you guys remember, Valhalla came out in the end of 2020. And with these new generations of, of consoles, well currently they're current generations of consoles. And then it got so popular because it was so interesting, it was all about Vikings, it was a new premise, it was a new idea. And now, when we're finally going to be getting, after so many decades of asking of an Assassin's Creed to be based in feudal Japan, but Ubisoft for some odd reason to never end up doing it for us, we received a better version of an Assassin's Creed game, but it, by, made by a completely different studio, with less people, obviously with more time though, uh, made by Sucker Punch. And they made Ghost of Tsushima, and it was an incredible experience and people absolutely loved it. To the point now we're finally getting a sequel to it now, Ghost of Yote. And of course in this case what I mean that Assassin's Creed Shadows is in a big trouble, is in very big trouble. And due to this, this means that Ubisoft is going to be even in bigger trouble. Sure, they may release their game, Assassin's Creed Shadows, February 14th. They may see some profits, they may see some positivity there, may. And, but two months later, they're just going to get forgotten. Quickly. What about their continued support of an Assassin's Creed Shadows? 
What about the passes? And what about the continued microtransactions that they'll, of course, they'll have? Uh, if there's no proper income of an Assassin's Creed Shadows, then that will be considered of a failure title, the failure of an IP. And it's also because of the reasoning of delaying this game, Assassin's Creed Shadows may not be a good idea as well. But it's just another thing. There's a little bit more than a month to go for the release, well, was supposed to release, of an Assassin's Creed Shadows. And yet they just, out, out of nowhere pretty much, decided to delay the game. Just how big of a problem did they actually face that they couldn't even say, oh man, we can't patch this, we have to delay it. How much of a problem did they really face? That is very concerning. And if that's the case, they, for so long they were confident that they will be able to hit the November release, and then just out of nowhere, at the very end of September, they just like, okay man, we can't do this, we can't release this, we have to delay it. And that they even held a, an emergency call. It is a concern. I don't know what kind of direction will they be able to go with now in terms of an Assassin's Creed titles. Just in general of Ubisoft. Like, what is their future? It's not exactly good. It doesn't seem like it is. Anyway, guys, that's all I want to have a little bit of a chat for today. Tomorrow I'm going to be going back into more anticipated titles, more things I want to break down, and all the games that I'll definitely be looking forward to. Alright, like and subscribe. See you guys all, and have a wonderful day.